What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another StarCraft Brood War cast. We've got Barrack spawning here in the top left hand corner. Broly down in the bottom right. I wanted to check out this game because, well, I'm a little bit partial to the naming convention here. Broly, really? Well, it's spelled with B-R... Uh, spelled like B-R-O-R-I. I guess that's like uh, Korean pronunciation. Broly. But, uh, this guy's a fan of DBZ, you can tell. He's a Zerg player, a fellow Zerg player as well. He's gonna be going up against Barracks, who we know very well. This man has been insane lately in this matchup. He is so good at Terran versus Zerg right now. He is 70% win rate in Pro League versus Zerg, which is just crazy. Just so it, just so crazy. It's uh, getting to the flash level or Jadong ZVZ level of win rate when you pass that 70% mark. Just incredible, incredible skills in this matchup. So I'm really looking forward to see what he pulls out this game. And yeah, just checking out a new player in Broly. We'll have fun with that name and we'll have fun with this cast. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you've been enjoying the content, make sure to hit that sub button. We're past 6,000 subscribers at this point. How crazy is that? We're going to keep pushing forward. We're going to keep Brood War alive. And if you want to see Brood War live forever, make sure to hit that like button. As always, we've got a hatchery coming down for Broly. But no gas. Very important that we don't see any gas here. And a drone is heading out to 6 o'clock. So... It's looking like a three base play. Now, three base plays are really strong on maps like this because you can place some sunken colonies on high ground. You only need like two to three to hold off a regular two racks uh, marine timing. And you need about three sunkens here. Uh, three to four sunkens, depending on the timing of when the marine medic hits. Three to four sunkens in the front here. And this is all because your mutas are just not going to be out in time. That is just the way that it is, unfortunately. Because we went for the hatchery before gas, we're just not going to be able to have those forces out in time to stop the marine medic, which comes at about five. Five or so minutes is when the move out comes, so it'll be arriving at the base about six minutes in. We've got barracks here positioning out in the front he's not going to catch this overlord if he had sent uh, some marines over to this side he would have caught this but instead he's pushing out towards the middle of the map he's viewing the number of lings at the front of broly's base checking out what he's got available and making the decision to push forward oh my gosh this is about as bad as it gets he just lost three lings for free there and i hope he's got more on the way he's got two more sets on the way but this could be big damage coming from barracks right now. Okay, there's still three lings. So if one more set pops out in time, he should be able to hold this. There it is. Perfect timing. The set pops out. He's going to go in with these lings and he will pick off everything and he will not lose any drones. Good blocking there from the SCV. But Brawly does a great job handling this little naked marine aggression. And behind this, it's just straight up two racks play. Nothing out of the ordinary from Barracks, but with less with less overall Marines because he lost uh, four Marines at the front of Broly's base. So this has gone really, really well for Broly so far. He's going to start to pump out a whole bunch more drones. He's going to get into those sunken colonies here relatively soon. We'll see him place down some of those in just a moment. And Barracks is waiting for his medics. As soon as those medics come, we'll see him start to move out and just poke. See if he can force extra sunken. See if he can uh, get in anywhere and take the game off of Broly here easily. I don't think it's going to happen, though. It feels like Broly has a pretty good handle on the situation. He started an evolution chamber. Okay, evolution chamber already. We have the Spire on the way, but the Evolution Chamber looks like it started first. Which means, yeah, armor right away. We're going into Crazy Zerg. Uh, or for those of you who are not 
familiar with the uh, moniker Crazy Zerg. What does it mean? It means he's going to rush Ultra. He's going to go super, super quickly into Ultras here. Probably not too many Mutas and a lot of sunken colonies to kind of protect his back while he tries to get into these ultras as quickly as possible now we, we already have the factory on the way okay that's important plus one is on the way as well but with this factory coming up there might be a timing to break with tanks let's see what happens because we're probably gonna have to build quite a few wow he's building three sunken colonies already i guess we're past six minutes and a half so the amount of marine and medic that can come out is a bit scary it's a necessary to get a good number of sunken colonies right now. You're just banking gas. That's really all you're doing. You're teching, you're upgrading, and you're just banking gas. There's the queen's nest coming up. We'll have the hive here pretty soon. Three creep colonies sitting out at the front. Three over here with the queen's nest. It makes it so much harder to come up this ramp with just one building in the way. It's going to make your life a lot more difficult. Here's the marine medic player. And his third barracks will start. We're going to a starport as well. That could be for Valkyrie. It could be for drops. Could be right on into... Oh, there's the armory. So maybe it will be Valkyrie. I'm surprised he doesn't have the machine shop added on just yet. Because I thought we would be going into a tank right away. But maybe he hasn't scanned and seen exactly what's coming. There's the scan. He sees all of these sunken colonies here. See if he drops the machine shop right away. Still no machine shop. I'm a little bit worried for barracks now. Is he not going to be able to break through? Because if he waits too long, if he delays too long on that machine shop, uh, he's just not going to get the tanks over here in time. There's the machine shop just started. So yeah, there's going to be some time here. Well, maybe he can get a tank across before we get the filers out. That is a possibility. Still don't have a Hydralis Den, so he's just skipping over Hydras completely. But as long as you get a Defiler out and a few Lings, you can just drop the Dark Swarm on top of everything. And you should be able to hold. Now, Barracks is moving out across the map. He's got a good number of Marine Medics, but this is way too many Sunken Colonies to take head on. That is eight sunken colonies. That's so, so much DPS and five on the high ground. Definitely a formidable defense from Broly. First Val Valkyrie is about to pop out. First tank. Well, there's actually the first Valkyrie. Second Valkyrie pops out. First tank heading out on the field. Do we have siege mode? No. Going to go ahead and start a dropship. So we're going to have a little combo play here from barracks he's gonna possibly attack here into the natural or maybe from this angle set up a tank on the low ground try to break these sunken colonies i'm not sure but at the same time he's gonna go for a drop which could be oh look at that raider spire on the way so there's gonna be a guardian defense to keep himself alive this tank moving through the middle of the map so snipeable right now oh and a base comes up in the top right as well didn't even see that. That's a sneaky, sneaky base over there uh, with two links blocking the ramp as well. That one Marine is going to be sent over there. Probably just get uh, picked off on the way. Um, we do have two Valkyries to deal with the Guardian threat, but the Guardians probably will be made here to take out the tank. Oh, wow. What happened to this tank? He almost lost it. Nine HP. Whoa. I think he walked a little bit too close to the sunken colonies there and almost lost that tank it's still alive he could just really fly in here with one muta and kill that but um he's not gonna do so some scourge pop out he gets the scan oh boy that's not good well the dropship's gonna get in the scourge were utilized to finish off that uh couple of valkyries so these two scourge are gonna get in there and finish off that dropship and it looks like he'll just barely clear. Oh, almost pulled back. Almost managed to pull back the Mutalisk in time. Here comes 
Barracks just trying to break through at the last possible second, but the Sunkins comboed with the Guardians doing so much damage. And I guess he's going to be able to hold Guardians living up to their name, holding the front line, keeping him alive for now. Some Marines did make their way up to the top right, though. They are going to stop that base from going down. So the hidden base has been dealt with. But there's still a lot of momentum right now for our Zerg player. He's almost done plus two armor. But a change in the winds is coming. Barracks, he's going to throw down double factory. And he has a machine, a me mechanical ground upgrades on the way. What is that even called? Vehicle weapons. That's what it is. So he will have vehicle weapons here pretty soon. Oh, the drop. This is pretty funny. He's trying to drop underneath the guardians. So he's going to come in from multiple angles. Maybe he can kill off these guardians for free. That was pretty good, but ultras are going to come up now. Plus two armor is done, and there's only plus one attack on these marines. So the guardians or the ultras are going to do fantastic. Ultras are going to do really, really well against this, and he should be able to push the ramp with the guardians assisting. It's very hard to get up this ramp with the medics blocking, but if you have the guardians to help out, it makes it a lot harder to hold that ramp. One irradiate does go down. He doesn't go after the vessel. Vessel going to escape there, or maybe it went down as well. Ultras getting on top of everything. Getting on top of these tanks, most importantly. Removing that threat. Because the uh, Guardians are just killing off these Marines one by one as they run up here. This is looking very good for Brawly. Making it really crazy right now. And giving Barracks a very hard time. Despite him being a, a specialist in this matchup, he is not having fun right now. Taking on Broly, who's just expanding everywhere. I love this. Go for the crazy Zerg tech and then just take bases all over the map. He could take this as well. He's actually sent another drone up there. He actually doesn't need that drone, but he sent it up there anyway. We haven't really taken too much damage just yet. If any of these bases come up, he's going to be on four gas very, very quickly. And that's when the ultra tech gets very scary. That's when it really starts to add up the damage. Now, the gas geyser was about to go down. I wish he would have targeted some more SCVs here. But he will get another ultra into this base and start to deal some damage there. Got to pick off a few more SCVs. It's 65 workers right now for barracks. So, he's having a hard time making this transition. He's lost all of his marines. He's got four factories. It's not a lot of production right now for barracks he's having a very hard time building up enough just to deal with these two guardians 21 kill oh wow 21 kill guardian you don't see that every day that is an absolute hero guardian these guardians did so well this game it's kind of crazy yeah he might even kill another marine yeah he is gonna get that marine too that's so funny now finally the goliath will come and pick that off 22 kills so wild you rarely ever see guardians be that effective in a game versus terran and really in any game uh, versus protoss it's also generally just not a good trade whenever you fight with guardians but uh, in this game it worked out really really well super super well and because of the trades with the guardians and the amount of slowing down he managed to do on Barracks' fourth base. Now he's slowing down the the uh, the fourth over here. Sorry, the third base he slowed down a lot. Killed quite a few SCVs. This base is going to go down, but of course, he built two bases. He built bases on either side of the map just to make sure that he could get something up somewhere. And he will get this base up. He's got the base in the top right as well. Just needs to add some sunken colonies to that area to make sure that vultures can't ruin his day. I think an overlord just went down over here, but I'm not sure. Some army down over here, and we're hitting a moment of calm in this game, which has been pretty crazy so far. Let's take a look at the upgrades. We've got 1-1, one, one, a lot more factors being added. A nice irradiate there. Oh my goodness, the stack is just taking so much damage right now. Oof. Bit of a bad pullout here from Broly. 
struggling a bit keeping those mutilists active on the map but it's understandable using them to just clear out mines little by little is great value out of these units that are not really useful in any sort of fight anymore also delaying the cc of course fantastic but he's done that enough at this point we are four base terran versus five base zerg <coughs> Sorry guys, I've got some allergies going. Hopefully I was able to mute there. Not 100%. But, um... I might try to cut that out. These Vita still being active on the map. Still doing a little bit of damage here and there. But, the base in the top right looks like it's about to get taken out. A lot of Ultras are coming up though. If he can just cut off a few small groups of Ultras here and there and just keep eliminating them, getting rid of them, then he's going to do very well for himself. Nice job utilizing these Devourers still. Slowing down, dealing damage to those pesky vessels. Oh, that's three tanks, though. These three tanks are going to do so much. The three tanks are just going to target down the hatchery. Can they actually get it? That hatchery is getting super, super low. Oh, the Hydras, or the Mutas are coming back. Not Hydras. The Mutas are here, but just barely not in time. And that's a real problem for Broly. He just lost his advantage. However, he manages to shut down the base over in the center left. And he's killed a lot of the tanks. Now, he can't be throwing away Ultras right now. Gotta be careful not to just let these things fall by the wayside and die for free. Especially to mines. But really to anything. You have to keep these alive and moving. Keep them away from the, the science vessels. Although the science vessel count is very low. Managed to kill a lot of those science vessels. I don't even see one right now. Where are they? There might be one out on the map. I just don't see it at the moment. Focusing completely on building into a lot of tanks. Some Goliaths as well. And look at that broodling on the way. You love to see it. How many queens are we going to make? I don't see any just yet. But I'm sure there'll be a few in the production tab here in just a moment. So nice that Zerg players are recognizing that the transition is necessary. I've seen so many games uh, uh, from the past where Zerg players will just throw Ultras and Lings into vultures and tanks over and over and over again and not be able to make any progress that's very good to see it, them switching into more queen play and comboing them with the ultras it's very expensive but you do take much better trades in that case now we don't have a nidus over here there's no reason not to have a nidus in this top right it's very unfortunate right now oh the drop in the center left though oh my goodness that's so many ultras that's more than 12 ultras 13 ultras in this drop on the center left it's going to take out the space and a majority of the scvs because they're not being pulled but he's going to lose the base in the top right big loss there for our zerg player for broly he will relegate barracks to just one base mining however another base could go down over here and that would be devastating he cannot lose this base Bring the mutas up. Oh my gosh, he's not bringing the mutas. Guys, if he loses this uh, base right now, he actually might lose this game. And there's no reason to be losing this. Oh man, he's going to lose a lot of drones too. Finally brings the mutalists over, but this is way too late. Broly now dropping into the main base with the remainder of the ultras. That's quite a few ultras to deal with here in the main. But with tanks and a lot of buildings in the in the way, he should be able to deal with it. It should be going down pretty pretty soon. Let's see if he can get in anywhere else. Got lots of tanks on this high ground over uh, at the 12 o'clock. And yeah, the ultras are just going to get cleaned up almost for free. You know, minus all of the uh, supply depots that go down, of course. But this is not looking good for a Zerg player. This is looking really, really rough at the moment. He has a bunch of Mutalists over here. What is he going to do with those? Is he going to make a ton of uh, Guardians? 
What are we doing with these? He is going to make a ton of guardians. More ultras over here. I don't know why he's not clearing out this base. Should be clearing out this base right now. More ultras making their way over here to the center left. We've got some hydras mixed in now as well. They really don't have good upgrades, but he will be getting groove spines at least here pretty soon. That all important uh, hydralisk range upgrade is going to be coming down in a moment. Uh, tanks are fighting against these ultras. Unseaged tanks are pretty decent against ultras, especially when you have something to block for them. This army going to make its way in here. Try to jump on top of these tanks and a lot of guardians making their way into the third base shutting down this mining once again scvs are dying on mass 30 scvs remain and barracks taps out very well played by broly so shocking that just a random ladder zerg player was able to take down one of the strongest pro league Z tvz players uh, that we have right now pretty shocking indeed guardians were the key though this Guardian play is not what we're used to seeing. We are used to seeing all-in Guardians against Terran, right? We see a lot of players go for uh, a three-base Hydra Guardian all-in timing attack on Terrans, and that works a good percent of the, percent of the time. It's still a very strong play, but I I love the, the switch up here from Broly going into Crazy Zerg. And recognizing that there is this timing right before Ultras can come out, which is very weak for the Crazy Zerg player. And you're going to be broken by the tanks. And Guardians are just an excellent, excellent counter to that. He clears that out. He utilizes the Guardians amazingly well to deal a bunch of damage to the Terran economy. He takes bases like crazy all over the map. You can just see how many bases he's trying to take even now as he's winning this game. He's got bases all over the place. So very impressed with this guy's play. We're going to be looking out for more Broly in the future. Uh, but for now, guys, that's it for this uh, single game ladder battle. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.